What is going on guys? Welcome to your 23rd tutorial and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys a little more about event handlers. So before we learned that you can take a basic event handler such as the on click event handler and you could place it somewhere such as in a form button. But now what I want to show you guys is there are more event handlers than that basic on click and also you can place them in different locations. You're not only limited to form buttons. You can place them in links and actually some places where you probably never even think of. So let's go ahead and make one type of event handler and this is called the on mouse over event handler and this gets called whenever you mouse over an element for example you don't have to click it you don't have to you know highlight it as soon as your mouse hovers over it that's when it gets called so uh, you know we could do it with a uh, form button but we already did that so let's go ahead and try something new and let's go ahead and make a link and might as well make it to the greatest website of all time the new boston.com and go ahead and might as well end that and let's go ahead and write some text like hover over me explanation point because we really want to emphasize this so what I like to do is save it launch it in Chrome and click it make sure our link works alright we're good to go so far so now we have a basic link on the screen so now let's go ahead and add that on mouse over event handler so just like before like the on click we add it kind of as an attribute and that's on mouse over with the M and the O capitalized. Now, as your value, we can set it equal to JavaScript code. So let's just go ahead and I'm just going to make basic alert boxes. Um, you can do different things, but a an alert box is just the easiest to see what's going on with this example. So alerts, and then just go ahead and write something stupid like game time. Because I feel like call, playing Call of Duty right now. So let's go ahead and save this and refresh it and check it out. I'm not going to click it and I'm not going to highlight it. I'm just going to scroll, have my mouse go over it, and as soon as it hovers over it, an alert box pops up that says game time. So that is the beauty of the on mouse over. You don't have to click it as soon as you hover over it. Maybe it should be called on hover over but it isn't I don't name them so that's the basics of that so now that I mentioned on mouse over I feel compelled to man mention this one on mouse out and this is a little bit different it's whenever you are hovering over a link and you don't click it but you take your mouse away from it then that's what this is get called so let's just go ahead and put game time be like um hey come back so now let's go ahead and save it and see what happens. Again, no clicking involved here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mouse, hover over it, nothing happens still. But whenever we take it away, that's when that event handler is going to get called in again. That's on mouse out. Whenever you take your mouse away from an element. So it says, hey, come back. Then you go ahead and click OK. So technically, if you had a web page and you had like 200 links on it, you could add one of these to every link and then you can create the most annoying web page ever but who would want to do that if you do then go ahead and send me a link and I'll check it out but anyways let's go ahead and get rid of that for now and actually might as well go ahead and get rid of this entire link because I want to talk to you guys about a different subject now that we know that you can add event handlers to different elements on a web page I'm gonna show you guys one place where you probably wouldn't think that you could add event handlers and that's in the body tag itself so go ahead and actually before we get to that just add some text on the screen yada 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 and save it and check it out our web page loads and we have some basic text on the screen just like that so we can't just add any event handler to the body like we can't add on click or on mouse over there are specific event handlers that you can add to your body tags and one of those is called on load and this is going to get called if I hit my caps lock this is going to get called whenever your web page is done loading so let's go ahead and just make a basic alert and make something that says like your web page or website has loaded explanation point did I spell everything wrong? This wrong, this right, this right, this wrong. Perfect. So let's go ahead and save this, run it, and I'll show you guys what happens. Our web page loads, and when it's done loading, it just says, Your website has loaded it. 
good enough okay so you might be thinking I know it looks like everything's happening at the same time but if you had a slow motion camera you could see that your web page loads and then the JavaScript pops up so that's why it's a little bit different than saying this alright Bucky if you're gonna do that then why won't you just have the JavaScript right here well sometimes you don't wanna run JavaScript as soon as your web page starts loading you wanna run it as soon as everything is complete and right now I'm just making alert boxes in it's not really a useful example but later on I'll show you guys why it would be useful to load a bit of code after your website has loaded so now that I showed you guys the on load alert or excuse me the on load event handler um you guys are probably thinking alright then is there on unload wow definitely have my caps lock and I definitely typed everything wrong so on unload there we go so now let's go ahead and see what this does but instead of your website has loaded because that doesn't make sense anymore just go ahead and write like goodbye so the on unload event gets called whenever the user exits a web page and they can do this by clicking a link and it takes them to another web page or even if they try to close out of their browser this code is going to be is going to run before it lets them go so let's go ahead and I already saved this refresh it and it says goodbye so let me go ahead and the reason it said goodbye already is because whenever I refreshed it I left that web page so check it out so now I have a web page with that un unload I cannot talk tonight on unload function already in there so whenever I try to close out of my browser it's gonna stop me before and it's gonna say goodbye so let's go ahead and close out of this and it says goodbye before it lets me leave so click OK and now let's go ahead and just launch it in Chrome again see it loads perfectly like that because we haven't left it yet so again whenever I try to close it out of my browser it says alright before you go I just want to say goodbye I'll miss you farewell so now you can see the basics of you know different types of event handlers not only are there different kinds of event handlers like on click on mouse over on mouse out and then your loads but you can also begin to see that we can stick them in different locations we're not only limited to buttons or links and we're not even limited to the body but in the upcoming tutorials I'm gonna show you guys all the different types and places and why they're useful and we're gonna be getting more in depth because this is one of the main concepts behind JavaScript and now we can start to see we're beginning to build smarter and more interactive web pages but for now that's all you get so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later